Yeah. It was good as Curtis Williams, um, smoking weed out the stash, you know, on the stash.com, um, stashing money, um, stashing bitches, um, stashing everything, swagging out too. What's going on, Tim LaRue? Curtis Williams. What's going on? Two nine Atlanta, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. How you been? Chilling, chilling, relaxing. How's the week been so far? Uh, it's been all right. It's been kind of fun, a little bit. Yeah. New York, I still got a, you know, still got a little beef with New York. So. For real? Why? I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I guess I, you know, it's not like the people or anything. I just, you know, because it's a lot of rivalries <laughs> with cities. Like, what city's better? Atlanta, New York, LA, those are like, and Miami are like some of the cities people talk about a lot. Yeah. And I just personally think Atlanta's <laughs> the greatest city in America. You know? There you have it. Start off by talking about your background a little bit for people that don't uh, know who you are or are too familiar with you. Uh, well, I'm Curtis Williams, I'm 22. I'll be 23 like in a month. And I helped start 2 9 with my brother Key, and we're just from Atlanta and we've just been making music for pretty long time and now it's kind of starting to pick up people starting to hear us a lot more see us and shit so yeah you know what's been like your best memory from this year I know it's been a busy year is there one thing that like stands out mm -hmm. a big accomplishment or anything I mean meeting Wiz was pretty dope yeah that was kind of a big deal to me how'd that I come about Will always fucked with me. Like last year at South by, we brought Chevy out. Everybody was pretty much fucking with us, but it was like at one point, I guess Wiz just heard my music. He heard Half Forgotten Daydreams and was just fucking with it. And he just really fucked with it. And he wanted us to come to some show. So me and my girlfriend at the at the time, Ash, B. Right, all of us drove to Cincinnati mm -hmm. to go to um, the show. I think it was like the last show for the Under the Influence tour. Yeah. And so it was just tight because he like knew me by face, knew my name and everything. Then he invited us to hang out with him when he came to Athens, which was dope. That's when he actually listened to the tape and he sat down and had like a long talk about how he fucked up, fucked with the tape, how he listened to it front to back, what he didn't like about the tape. That's like dope. just, you know, he was telling me how it was like the perfect mixtape for me. That was really dope because yeah. niggas know Wiz is like one of my favorite artists. And I met Pharrell briefly. Dope which is way bigger to me than meeting Wiz, but I didn't get to talk to Pharrell, like, yeah. I just got an introduction, like, what's up, skateboard? <laughs> it was like Mean Prince or some yeah. shit. <laughs> so those are two dope, that was dope as fuck. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I want to talk about Half Forgotten Daydreams a little bit. Um, talk about, like, the whole message behind that. You know? uh, well, Half Forgotten Daydreams, the name is just based on, like, people, like, um, putting, like, their dreams and stuff aside for like other stuff in the world that kind of like doesn't hold you it holds you back but it kind of doesn't hold you back you know what i'm saying but it holds you back in a way like people have jobs and go to school and they don't do what they want to do because they have to they have to they don't want to like not be able to pay their rent or not pay their phone bill so they can't do a lot of the cool shit that they want to do like they can't just go sit at the park all day and smoke weed all day or sit and read all day whatever the fuck you like to do you know what i'm saying that's shit that you sit and think about doing when you're sitting behind that desk you're daydreaming like damn i really just want to go to the bar and kick it you know what i'm saying and it's like kind of it's like half forgotten and so that's what half forgotten daydreams just meant so yeah you want to talk about how Fillmore slim came about and how you met vic i had met Vic like way way back in the day I think it was was it A3C or was it just a random show mm -hmm. I don't know it was something but I remember it was at the masquerade when he got there fam just texted me his number like hey you should fuck with my homie Vic this was when he was still in that band kids these days right he was like fuck with Vic um he's in the band you're opening up for but he's dope ass rapper so me and Vic just became friends mm -hmm. just always stuck stayed in contact and shit and then i really did feel more slim a long time ago like it was really one verse when i did the video and all of that it was really just that yeah. and he had dm'd me and was like um bro that shit's tight man yada 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 um i'm really fucking with it i'm like thanks bro blah, blah 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 and he had said something like yeah so like the second verse what's like it's another verse on there like what what, what is that or is that just gonna be the song and i was just like right now that's all it is he was like Oh well, shit, can I rock on it? I was like, duh, you know what I'm saying? So we had yeah. tried to get him on the verse like a million times. He was doing hella shit. He really did the verse like two days before I dropped the mixtape. Uh, what are you working on now? What can people expect to come next? 
Mm, a lot more music. Um, Retro Sushi's mixtape. I'm um, like doing most of the production on there with Siege. So I'm doing that. And just really just a lot more music. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm about to redrop Half Forgotten probably with like a couple more songs and like a few remixes from some of my DJ friends and stuff yeah. that been playing with a lot of my vocals and stuff. So I'm going to redrop that and just everything 2-9. Yeah. And then you want to talk about the Chevy Woods track real quick? We just heard it. You said on Twitter a couple hours ago that... Oh yeah, you know you announced that officially. So, oh, yeah. that Chevy, that. Chevy's tight. He's tight as fuck. Like I just did that verse. He reached out to me and sent it to be right. And I guess he been listening to my music even before like the Wiz and all of that shit happened. So <clears throat> he was just like, "Do this verse for me, bro." I was yeah. like, "Oh shit, all right." Because I'm a Kev the Hustler fan too. Cause I'm a Wiz fan. I'm a Taylor yeah. Gang. I'm a Taylor. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those kids. So I was like, "Fuck yeah!" So yeah. I did the verse song is tight it's called tony hawk this tape i think this tape is gonna be really dope tim larue curtis williams swag peace uh-huh.